Hey everyone, today's video is about when you sit on his lap. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's get into this. Bakugo Katsuki Bakugo really did not know how to react. Like, one second, he was sitting, and you were right there, right in front of him, talking to him. But the other one, you were thrown onto his lap, for no reason. He squealed and then looked back, seeing that Mina was there, smirking with her hands put up. Still where they pushed you from. Mina, that's mean, you know. Sorry, but you thank me later. And you clearly will. He was staring at you, with an unreadable expression. Um, how did you even get on here? I... I don't know. Mina... Mina literally just pushed me right in front of you. Oh. Right. <sighs> Maybe he actually just wanted you to... I don't know. Go there yourself, maybe. So, continue what you were going to say. Aren't you just going to tell me to get off? No, I like it like this. You do? That's weird. Maybe. But I do, so it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, right. And you just continued on with your conversation. Actually, not just that, but... You ended up sleeping on him. Of course, not before making out with him for a few moments. Yes, you were definitely going to think, Mina. Taruki Shoto. Hey, Wayan. Um, you can just sit on my lap, you know? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, you can't find anywhere to sit, you know? And I'm just not going to let you to sit on the floor. Or you can sit on here. I'll just go sit on the floor instead. He was really going to get up. No, 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 no. Stay. I... Even though you were blushing, you were also not going to let him sit on the floor, so you can sit on the couch instead. I'll just sit on your lap. Really? Yeah. It doesn't matter. All right. If you're uncomfortable, just tell me, okay? Mm-hmm. I will. And you weren't. Nope, of course not. Actually, you slept on him while the movie was still going on. And... Actually, you had the most comfortable sleep you did in a while. Midori Izuku. Midori would be very shy, and you would be too. You just sat on him, without noticing that this place was occupied by him. And then, when you felt something strange, these were not soft cushions, no. This is... You look back. This is Midori's lap. Shit. You jumped. Startled. But then he had his arms around around your waist, pulling you closer to him. Just a part of his instant. Hey... It's okay. You can sit on my lap, you know. It doesn't matter to me. It... it doesn't? How? He just wanted to say. But no. He just let you sit there, with no explanation on how it didn't even bother him. Because it didn't. And he was not going to explain why. Because that would be very embarrassing. Why not? Thank you, Kaminari. Um, well, you don't sit on his lap, but he pushes you to sit, so clearly it was not you. It's not what you did, but it's his doing. And he was just sitting there, and you were talking, but then he put his arms around your waist and pulled you in. Pinky, tell me first before you do this. Were you going to agree? No. Then, I'm not going to tell you. <sighs> But that made me scared, you know. I thought I was going to fall. Even if you were going to fall, I was not going to let you fall like that. I was going to catch you. Stop being so savvy, can you? Honestly, no. God damn it. Stop. 
I said, no, Leon. <sighs> You're tiring. Very. And he was. Kirishima Jiro. You were just falling. And Kirishima just wanted to be manly. So, he wrapped his arms around you and made you sit instead of fall and hit your head somewhere. Oh, the table right behind him. Yes, the couch was quite stuck to the table behind him. And if you were going to fall, you were going to fall and hit your head on it. So no way he was going to let you fall like that. Um, I'm sorry. I should have told you. No, no, it's okay. You just tried not to make me hit my head. It's alright. Hmm, okay. So you're not mad at me? Of course not. I don't care about that. You're just sweet. Even though you said that, he knew you did. Because you were blushing very hard. Tenyeira. It was going to be a surprise as you were going to. And when he looked back, he saw that someone was there. Of course, obviously, she fished you. Mina, you can't just do that to your friend. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, she practically didn't notice that. She was just joking around. And she didn't notice that the one sitting right there was Ida. Well, he was going to take this more seriously than anyone else. So she ran off. And you just continued staring at each other before you apologized and ran. Well, why are you two running? No running in the halls, he said. Well, shit. Monoma Nito. Well, he was just going to tease you, really. He sat on his lap, purposely. Why? He didn't know. All he knew, though, was that he was going to tease the hell out of you. Hmm. Did you do this on purpose, Ryan? Why? Did you want to sit on my lap that much? What? No. I didn't know that you were sitting. You were just going to sit on anyone's lap? No. I didn't know anyone was sitting right here. Oh. That's what a liar would say. Come on, stop. Well, obviously he didn't. Miria Togara. He teased the hell out of you, too, but with a smile on his face, telling you that he liked you sitting on his lap, which made you even more embarrassed. Exactly what he wanted. But he's just going to wrap his arms around you and make you comfortable, obviously enjoying it. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. By the way, tell me if you want more characters like these. Because I only used to do three, but now I like it even more. But yeah, bye!